Hi, in this video we're going to be going over the Windows 11 secret start menu options. Well, if you don't know about it, it's a secret, but if you do know about it, then I guess it's not a secret. But anyways, so if, if you're a you know, Windows Power user, you know that right-clicking is your friend, and you could right-click on all kinds of stuff and get different types of options. You know, back in like Windows uh, 10, you used to be able to right-click on the taskbar and get a bunch of options too. But not so much with Windows 11, except for just taskbar settings. So anyways, normally when you click on the start button, you get your apps, your pinned apps and all apps and search box and that kind of thing. But if you right click on it, you get a bunch of other options, such as seeing if you want to go right to your apps and features, rather than having to go through the settings menu, you have to take right to your power options, if you need to adjust power settings, if you're if you're a real power user and you want to look at the event viewer, just look for, you know, issues for various things. You get to take it, take it right to the event viewer itself. Device manager. That'll take you there and show you all your hardware on your computer if you need to check for any problems or make adjustments there. Okay. And then network connections is a commonly used one if you're having any internet problems. You could go here, check all your ethernet and wireless connections and so on. You'll notice as we go through this, it's taking you right to the same uh, settings that you're probably used to seeing when you go to the settings icon itself. Instead of, you know, just having to navigate to, it's kind of a shortcut to get you there. And then we have disk management, so if you're adding a new hard drive or need to change some drive letters, this is where you go to do that. Computer management, this is an old school MMC console interface where you could get to various tools, you know, just like Event Viewer itself again, task scheduler, check your local users, go to device manager, check performance, disk management, so this will kind of take you to a one-stop shopping for a lot of these uh, options that, we, that you could get from from this menu here. Windows Terminal. So if you're a PowerShell user, you could start a PowerShell console right from there. And then a lot of times you need to uh, use PowerShell as an admin, so this will launch it with the admin. And then Task Manager. We used to get to Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar and choosing Task Manager, but now you can get to it from right-clicking on the Start menu. And then do what you got to do here. You could, you could also get to that by pressing Control alt delete and then use, choosing Task Manager. This will take you right to your settings itself. The same thing as if you were to go to Settings right there. File Explorer. This will launch your File Explorer so you can get to your files. You know, same thing as if you use the shortcut down here. Assuming you have one. Search. You know, bring up a search box, which you could do right from here as well. The run command. This is a uh, nice tool to use, which is kind of hard to find otherwise, because normally you'd click on start and you could have a run option down here, but not so much with Windows 11 or even Windows 10. So it's nice to be able to just run right from there. And then you have shutdown or sign out options. Same thing as if you go here. You have your logout options here, and then you have your power options here, but if you want, you could do it right from here. And then desktop, so let's say we had some stuff open here. And, you know, normally you could go over here and do the show desktop to minimize everything. But you could also do it from here. So it's like another way to, if you don't want to move all the way over to the right side, you could do it from here. So, you know, a lot of stuff's kind of redundant, but some of the stuff's you know kind of nice just to have a quick little shortcut, especially for the run menu. And I like using the File Explorer if you don't have an icon down there. Um, and you know, some of these other ones are kind of useful too. But for most, for the most part, you could just go to your settings here, and you'll have a listing of everything here. So give it a shot, try it out for yourself, and see which ones you like. And then you just got to remember where you know that they're there next time you need to use them. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.